Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we'll be trying to find the missing frequency when median is given in your question. So in our question, we have the median of the following data is 35. We need to find the value of k. So k here is our missing frequency and we need to find the value of this k. Now, how do we find the value of k? The first step, whenever there is a question related to median, is you find the cumulative frequency, okay? So we have our CF. The way to find the cumulative frequency is for the first one, you just copy the frequency, which is our 2. For the second one, you add this 2 with this 5 and you get 7. For the third one, again, you add this 7 with 8 and you get 15. And then you add this 15 and k and you get 15 plus k. Similarly, now you add this 15 plus k with this 4 and you get 19 plus k. And then you add this 19 plus k with this 5 and you get 24 plus k. So this last frequency, which is 24 plus k, is the sum of all these frequencies, okay? So if you add this 2 plus 5 plus 8 plus k plus 4 plus 5, you are going to get your n, which is the number of items, which is 24 plus k, okay? Now we have filled up our cumulative frequency. How do we find the value of k? So usually when we are doing problems related to median, the first step that we do is find the position of median, right? But in this particular case, we already know that our median is 35, right? This is given in our question. And in this case, we don't need to find the position of median, okay? We can directly find the median class from the value of our median. So this 35 is going to lie in this class interval, okay? So 35 to 40. Now, there might be a little confusion here, right? So you might also think that this 35 lies in this class interval 30 to 35. So the solution there is, so whenever you're writing class intervals like this, like 0 to 5 and 5 to 10, what's going to happen is this 5, right, the number 5, does not lie in this class interval 0 to 5, okay? It lies in the class interval 5 to 10. So in the class interval, the upper limit does not lie in the class, but the lower limit lies in the class, okay? So in our next class interval, which is going to be 10 to 15, right, this 10 lies in this class, the lower limit, right, but this 15 does not lie, okay? So the reason why only the lower limit lies in the class, but the upper limit does not lie in the class, is because if both the lower and upper limits lie in the class, there will be confusion, right? So if this 10 also lies in this class and this 10 lies in this class as well, then there will be a confusion, right? Where do we put the 10? Do we include that in both classes? No, okay? So there is an old convention in maths where we only include the lower limit in the class and not the upper limit, okay? And that's the reason our 35 lies in this 35 to 40 class and not the 30 to 35 class, okay? So you can forget all these things, right? And just think that this lower limit lies in the class, but the upper limit does not lie, okay? That's the gist of all of this thing. So therefore, our median class is equal to 35 to 40, okay? So we have our median class without finding the position of median, okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to find the median from this data and then compare that median with the given median, which is our 35, right? And in that way, we can find the value of k, okay? So our formula to find the actual median is md equals to l plus n divided by 2 minus cf bracket close times i divided by f. Now, let's just first write all the values of these terms so that our calculation becomes a little bit easier, okay? So we already have our median, which is equal to 35, right? Comma, our L is the lower limit, right? So the lower limit of our median class is 35. Is equals to 35, comma, our N by 2 is going to be equal to our n is 24 plus k, right? That's our sum of frequencies. So our n is going to be 24 plus k divided by, we have our 2 over here. Now for our CF, we need to look at our table again, okay? So this was our median class, right? And the CF in our formula is the CF of the class just above our median class, okay? Which is our 15. 
So our CF is 15. Now our next term is I, right? So our I is equal to, so our I is the gap between our class. So the gap in this class, 35 to 40 is five, right? So our I is going to be five. Comma. Our last term is this F, which is our frequency of the median class, right? Again, we need to look at the table for our F. So the frequency of our median class, which was 35 to 40, is K, right? So our F is going to be K. So F is equal to K. Now, if you put all these values in this formula, then we'll find the value of K. Now, it does look complicated, but I assure you it's really easy, okay? So our first step is going to be our median is 35, right? So let's write 35 is equal to our lower limit is also 35, L is 35 plus our N divided by 2 is 24 plus K divided by 2, right? So it's going to be 24 plus K divided by 2 minus our CF is 15, right? It's over here. Bracket close times our i is 5 divided by our frequency is k, okay? Now to find the value of k, we need to make the k alone, right? So the first step that we are going to do is move that 35 over to that side. It's going to be 35 minus 35 is equal to, we have 24 plus k divided by 2 minus 15 times 5 by k. Now, 35 minus 35 is 0, right? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this 5 divided by k to the left side, and it's going to be multiplied by k divided by 5, okay? It's just going to turn upside down. Is equal to, we still have our 24 plus k divided by 2 minus 15, okay? Now, 0 times anything is 0, right? So we have 0 equals to 24 plus k divided by 2 minus 15. Now, if you move this minus 15 to the left side, it's going to be plus 15, right? So we have 15 is equal to 24 plus k divided by 2. Now, if you move this 2 to the left side, we're going to get 15 times 2, right? Which is going to be 30 equals to 24 plus k. And finally, if we move this 24 to the left side, it's going to be 30 minus 24 is equal to k, which is going to be 6, right? So 6 is equal to k. And therefore, the value of our k is equal to 6. And done. We have found our missing frequency, right? So we needed to find the value of this k. And we have just found that the value of this k is 6. So what we did here is nothing complicated, right? So first we just found the CF. The median was given in the question. So we just figured out that the median lies in the 35 to 40 class. And then we just put the values in our formula. And when you solve that, you get the value of our k, okay? And that's it. So if you enjoyed our video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for future maths videos. Thank you.